A new Chinese retailer is coming to Canada, the latest in a number of strong brands from Asia now making their mark on the Canadian retail scene. Miniso is a low-cost retailer and variety store specializing in household goods, small consumer goods. It has more than 1,800 stores around the world, and it is now announced it will open up to 50 stores in Canada this year. Talking to us right now about this trend in re is retail expert Doug Stevens. Doug, thanks so much for being here. My pleasure. Okay, so you had a chance to visit one of these Canadian outposts. I did. Uh, yesterday, what were your first thoughts? So it's, it's a really interesting store. They, they don't like to compare themselves to dollar stores, and that's probably for good reason, because it's really not set up like a dollar store. You have uh, a few categories. There's electronics, there's some household goods, there's even cosmetics. Okay. But the interesting thing is, it's, it, as I went through, it sort of reminded me of, of kind of Ikea in a sense, because what they've done is they've taken commodity items, low-priced items, but they've added a Japanese sort of sensibility and design the same way Ikea did it with Scandinavian design. Now, my, the first thing I thought when I heard a new company entering Canada, brand new sort of company culture coming into Canada, uh, and with a fairly ambitious uh, expansion plan, my mind went back to Target, the Target right. disaster. <laughs> yeah. How is this different? Well, I, I suppose that every retailer now coming into Canada is using Target as a bit of an informative lesson. Cautionary on, tale. <laughs> on what not to do, yeah. right, exactly. But it is, it is different in the sense that these are much, much smaller stores. These, these stores are about 1,800 square feet. So imagine, you know, um, about the size of a 7-Eleven store, sure. right? Um, so they're much, much smaller. So I, th I think that the, their, their growth plans are probably realistic. You know, I think that the main thing is they, they really have to just try and um, make sure that the branding stays mm -hmm. on point, that the stores are, are open properly and that, that things unfold. Uh, you know, as they should for consumers. So it's not like a dollar, so it's not like something for everyone at a low price. It's a very particular style. Yes. Uh, and a t I'm guessing a particular type of person that they're going after to shop there. Absolutely, yeah. It's a younger target market. They're looking at consumers somewhere between 18 and 34 years old. And you're absolutely right. The packaging is really cool. It, everything is sort of, um, you know, very, very stylized in sort of Japanese style. So they're bringing a different element to these low cost commodity products. Okay, we say we're, we're using these terms low cost commodity, but the, the fact is they sort of are going to be playing in the same sandbox as companies like Dollarama. Sure. They just posted some strong quarterly earnings. Should they be worried at all? Yeah, I think so. You know, I mean, the dollar store channel has been a very strong channel because as you and I have discussed before, consumers are really shopping at the extremes of value, mm -hmm. right? They're going up market and down market and dollar stores have capitalized on that. But nevertheless, the dollar store channel itself is a channel that seems to be ready for disruption. And Miniso is a, is a contender that's coming in and saying, look, why can't you have some of these low cost products, but have them in, in such a way that, you know, there's some design applied to them and, and you don't have to feel bad about shopping at, at, at a store like that. Can we call what we're witnessing a bit of a trend between the Uniqlo, Muji, Daiso? It seems like there is this attraction uh, in North America to these Asian chains. Yes, absolutely. And, and in this particular case, you've got two founders, one of whom is actually coming from the world of Chinese fast fashion, and the other that's coming from the world of Japanese design. So they've sort of put these two together in combination. So these two are coming in. Who are they moving out of the market then? Are European brands getting pushed out in favor of this Asian sensibility? I, I think that everybody's vulnerable in the sense that consumers now are really looking for what's new, mm. what's different. And I, I think a lot of that is, is our online experiences now are sort of conditioning us in the, in the physical world to sort of say, well, you know, what, what's exciting, what's new, what's next? And so I think that anybody should be looking at Miniso, anybody in the market really should be looking at Miniso and worrying about contenders like this coming into the space. Lastly, how is Miniso going to gauge success? What metric are they going to be basing it on? I think it's going to be market penetration at this point. I think that this, this number that you mentioned, they're talking about somewhere between 50 and 100 stores this year. That's what they're going to be gauging their success by. Can they open those stores successfully? And can they make a mark in the Canadian marketplace? Doug Stevens, always love talking shop, or rather shops, shops. with you. <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon.